أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أول الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself أنا عبدك العجيس وضعيف ومسكين وظالم وجهل and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah in the blessed month of Rabbil Awwal only Allah come into our lives and give us the keys to success that ibadat bidun khidmat it leaves nothing that all our ibadat and worshipness and prayers and everything that we come to this beautiful deen for without khidmat khidmat khalq without the service to Allah's creation it leaves everything empty has no value and only Allah come into our lives to give our ibadat and our worshipness and our practices a life, to bring it to life. So that Allah recognizes it, Sayyidina Muhammad recognizes all that we're trying to accomplish and trying to do with our lives and our families and our communities and they inspire within us khidmat. So many, many of these kalam are in the nat and in poetries and Iranian poetry and Urdu poetry that ibadat bidun khidmat, that worshipness without khidmat is empty. And this is what distinguishes the tariqahs and the tariqahs that want to perfect the character of the students themselves and their students is to live a life of service to creation and that gives the fruit and the flavour and puts our deen into practice so that we serve people, help people and make ourselves a life of, of khidmat and service. And when you develop a team and a community that believe in that, imagine the potential. The potential of videos going out, production going out, video production going out, mashallah book publishing going out and wonderful service that they're doing and putting articles, websites, books out, uh, the service at the centers to the people who come and hosting and, and doing all of this. So Allah dresses that the fruit and the bounty of these teachings is that it develops a beatific character and people whom lend their skills and their ability. Amazing how amazing that is that they give their skill and their ability and look at all of the potential skills that are available, graphic designers, we have the TV production people, the, the book editing people, the, the, the people whom are helping out at the center and people are amazed to come and, and interact with the community and they think, oh are you people like hired to do this? They say, no, these are people with careers and jobs and, and every type of background possible, every type of education possible. But they do this khidmat as a love and people are astonished in this day. That what are you talking about that they do this? They saw the singers at the mawlid and they think this is a professional band. So no these are you know, all professionals, IT managers, uh, working people, everybody from every type of background and insurance managers in the food section, there's an IT manager in this section, there's everybody who's educated and, and coming from all sorts of different uh, backgrounds and services and people are astonished at that. And that's the beauty and the reality of tariqah that you have something to give, you have to support, you have to put your, your love and put it into action. That when we say that we love Allah and that that love led us to an immense reality and a clarity is that Allah is the creator and Sayyidina Muhammad is creation, there are no mixture of that and, and the way we talk some new people may become confused at that reality. But Allah is the creator and Allah encourages us to find Him. 
Our life is about seeking that reality, seeking Allah's signs in everything. So when you go to the ocean it's, it's obligatory for us to say, SubhanAllah, the might and the majesty of the beatific ocean and its immensity. You see it all of nature and all the beatific signs of nature, you stare at the moon and the stars and the sky, say, SubhanAllah Ya Rabbi how you built all of these? SubhanAllah, Subhanak Ya Atheem Bi Ya Rabbi Allah Zabajal's immensity and might. And then awliyaullah come into our lives and teach us that, search Allah in His most beloved creation. That all of those that you looked at the ocean, you looked at nature, you looked at everything. But look at what Allah loves the most so that you can see what type of secret He's deposited within that which He loves the most. And Allah gave His name unto this reality and, and gave Rasul Allah, Habib Allah, that Allah attached His Divinely name of Allah upon Habib and gave us isharat that look to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And when we look to the reality, studied the reality, gave our salawats, gave all of our practices an immense love began to attract within the heart. And this glory of Allah its lights are, can be found in the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that's what it's meant by when Allah says, I'm a hidden treasure. Allah will always remain hidden. Allah's in Allah is always going to remain hidden. But Allah's signs and attributes are manifesting in the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad. What we call Rasul Kareem, when we say Qamarun, Qamarun, Qamarun means that this Divine reality that reflects within the personality, the persona and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad its immensity and its beauty can't be understood and the tongue falls short in trying to even describe it to people. For if certain people to hear it they would become confused. So alhamdulillah that Allah has led us to this beauty and to this understanding and taught us that if you want to open that reality and you want to be recognized by Allah you want to be recognized by the Divinely Presence, you want to be recognized by the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad then live a life of khidmat and service. So alhamdulillah that Allah direct us to this reality that encourage people to be of service, that from what they have they can give, from what they understood of their talents and their abilities to give that to be of service. Wherever they are if there's a food program they can make one, they can put few people together and go get food from the grocery store, put it in a bag and say that I'm doing this on behalf of Fatima Zara helping hand or if they don't want to they say they can use whatever they want or no, no, no name at all. But to live a life of service gives the flavour of our reality. But just to sit and do nothing it becomes like a, a wasted life and that's what the immensity of Mawli the Nabi is, is a reminder for us that we all are searching for that attention from Allah nazar, what we call the gaze, that Allah to gaze upon us. And awliyaullah come into our lives and they teach that that secret of that gaze is that we have to do something, we have to be active. We see the people whom are supporting and we thank them eternally that Allah sent such amazing people that support the programs, support the videos, that every YouTube video that you watch and you took a benefit from it. There's a fundraiser that you can immediately support 
and show that Allah be thank you for giving me access to this fountain, its realities and its blessings and that becomes something that eternally dresses the soul. And that from what I have I want to send a link from this video, I want to send it to a WhatsApp group. I read this article on Nur Muhammad, nurmuhammad.com, I, I liked it and I want to share it out to people. You know there's 50,000 people on the YouTube channel, 1.2 million on the feed on Facebook. Imagine if half those people on those different social media platforms shared something. You know that we, you, you can be passive in life or you can be active in life. That you just let everything pass you by, cry about your condition, wonder why nothing is happening or their advice and say that, I want to be like my shaykh and I want to be like my shaykh and my shaykh wants to be like his shaykh all the way up to the Sahabi kiram because that was ihtiba and following. That we took an example that we want to be like them, how they showed their love for Sayyidina Muhammad which was showing their love for Allah So pick a, a great Sahabi and say, I want to be like that. I want to have the character like that, the father of this tariqah Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and brings the secret of Imam Ali into Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah. So exemplars of the faith live a life like them, that they didn't just watch and see Sayyidina Muhammad pass by, walk by, pass by and just say, we love, we love you, we love you. But they fought and struggled with Sayyidina Muhammad They prayed and ate with Sayyidina Muhammad and they gave their lives in a khidmat and a way to Allah that beyond understanding of what, what type of khidmat in which they gave their entire life and their being for the holy sahabi, the Ahlul Bayt, what they gave as an example of following Sayyidina Muhammad So alhamdulillah the immensity of the mawlid and every day for us is a milad and nabi celebration of the existence of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad which awliya will come and teach that by celebrating that we're also celebrating that we came into existence. For if not for the reality and the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad none of this creation is manifesting. Not its planets and not its galaxies, not its stars and not its oceans, not its trees and its plants and its flowers. Not even the love that Allah wanted all this creation to be created in love, it wouldn't have existed that reality manifesting without the appearance of Sayyidina Muhammad's holy soul. So the milad is a celebration of life for all of us, it's a celebration of our existence that Allah wanted to be known through the attribute of wadud and muhabbat and love and He brought into existence this beatific reality. And through that reality everything is manifesting and everything that manifests in an immense beauty, immense beauty and it lives its life and, and nature lives its life showing us that if you don't even accept a shaykh that I have to listen to a shaykh, don't listen to the shaykh then watch nature, watch how the beatific reality of nature and you know that the ouds and the perfumes that we love, the atars that we love. So what happens to that beatific rose and in all its struggle to come into existence, all its ability to survive until it blooms. And the only beauty of that rose and its fragrance is if you take it and then you begin to crush it. And in the reality of crushing that rose even to the hand that is crushing it, it releases all of its oils and its oil is its preciousness, its oil is the secret, the loop, the secret of the secret of its existence. Not only its beautiful bloom that it's shining and the beautific colors that comes out, the pattern in which it is it's manifesting, even the subtle scent that you may think you smell from it but its reality its khidmat and its reality doesn't come out until it truly gives its service in the way of humanity and that's by 
crushing the rose. So they crush the flower and as a result of crushing these flowers and they crush tons of them just to take the oil. And in that oil is its secret and its service. So just manifesting on this world, just having a tasbih, having a turban, uh, praying, wearing jubba, alhamdulillah is all beautiful. But its reality is in, in service and there are so many ways to serve. MashaAllah for those whom support and they serve and they made the Mawlid to be amazing. Mawlid on, on the, in the Vancouver area, the Mawlid throughout Pakistan for the orphans. We saw other people now putting out images of going and trying to support orphans and having milad for them which is beautiful. That this is amazing to, to, to help those whom they can't help themselves to give them a glimmer of hope that Sayyidina Muhammad loves them because these are, they know, these children know that these are, these are the ashiqeen of Sayyidina Muhammad coming to them and making their day to be special, their food, their carnival, everything is for them. And this is, this is the teachings. And all those who made that to be possible, Allah dress you, bless you, forgive you, dress your family and your communities and take every difficulty away. But most important that you see that reality in your qabr and in the qabr of all your family and all your loved ones. The light and the nearness of Sayyidina Muhammad to be present and to dress. Not a, not a grain of rice. Not a drop of water in the way of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad will be lost or will be unaccounted for. This is our faith, this is our belief. And Allah rewards a person based on their faith that this is our faith that that grain of water to save us from any type of difficulty. That if Allah wants just one grain of water to defend you from any type of azab therapy that I ate from this food, I brought this food, all my life could have been bad but I tried my best to show my love and ihtiram for Sayyidina Muhammad Even I had nothing to offer I came and I sang for them, I recited with them to show my love, I brought some water with them. Anything that we do this the immensity of Allah's love and rahmah can't be understood. And that's why these are important events, that's why supporting them are important events. That's why living a life that, I want to live a life Ya Rabbi from one mawlid to the next mawlid. That make it to be grander for us, make it to be everywhere, make it to be in Los Angeles, make it to be everywhere that our people are, make a grand celebration. There shouldn't be a place on this earth that's not celebrating every day the reality and its people should be Muhammadiyoon and all this earth should be Muhammadiyoon and that our arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi to bring the reality of the Muhammadan kingdom upon this earth. This is our whole life's waiting that do you wait with an intention, a good intention to bring light, to bring clarity, to bring love and all those people whom are commenting. We see the comments, we see the interactions. Every night we're praying for all those whom supporting Ya Rabbi that take away their difficulties, take away their sadnesses, take away their sicknesses, provide an opening and that provide a, a nazar upon them that Sayyidina Muhammad to be pleased with them and intercede for them. And that we know in our faith and in our heart that anyone whom showing that love is entering the heart of the shaykh, those whom are supporting and continuously commenting, continuously sharing, continuously trying to be of service and live a life of khidmat is deep within the shaykh's reality, his heart and his soul and he knows them and he understands them and that heart is what's presented to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That's why we ask that you interact, that you you email helpme at nurmuhammad.com, that you share the feeds, that you share the books, that you share the articles and live a life of khidmat and service. Give food to those who are in need, even you can gather a few friends, go buy some food at the grocery store 
and put them in bags and go out every weekend and give food to people who are, who are in need and asking Allah Rabbi for the sake of this food, take away my sins, take away my difficulty, take away my own hunger so that I don't see a day of hunger and difficulty. We pray that Allah inspire us with this love and that our heart yearn for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad for if he looks at you, he looks with the light of Allah That holy hadith that my servant did all their farb and they came and approached me through voluntary worshipness. That's a hadith for the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad hadith al-Qudsi. So that the Sahabi would know and understand the eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah is looking through them. That hadith is describing, I will give you my seeing. Means Allah's eternal reality of Sami, the one whom sees. Sami the hearing, the one whom Al Basir is seeing, means these eternal attributes are eternally dressing that reality of Sayyidina Muhammad. So when we're asking for the nazar of Prophet with what eyes and with what, with what majesty that light is gazing upon our heart and our souls and what Allah is sending of tajallis and blessings. We pray that it dress us and bless us in this month and in every month and in every day and every Thursday, Friday, Saturday that we make our intention for Milad al-Nabi under the intention of Sultanul Awliya Ma Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Dagastani, Sultanul Awliya Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Shalom Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil and all Ahlul Bayt and Nabi all the holy companions of Sayyidina Muhammad and that their rida and satisfaction to dress us and bless us, all those who are making comments we see their comments. And we go through all of them and say, Ameen, Ameen to all those whom are watching and praying and sharing, share the feed, it doesn't, it doesn't cost anything. Those whom want to understand what to do, just take the stream and share it. And we don't know whom Allah will guide just by watching that and coming into their lives that reality that maybe they didn't have an opportunity to understand or they never came across that channel or that page. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Alika shafat ya Rasul Kareem and we are live streaming from our phone inshaAllah. Allah dress everyone, bless everyone and inshaAllah. This is an interactive Thursday for questions and people who are asking, I think we have moderator, moderators on our live stream also and on our YouTube if there's any questions for today relevant to the milad, relevant to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Anybody that has the meditation questions that please try your best to get the timeless reality. As two years of question and answers on tafakkur and contemplation, the reality of, of contemplation and uh, it should be like an encyclopedia for people to read it and have all of the questions they possibly can think of, it's probably already in the book. So there's nothing new under the sun, means that people can't think of something that nobody else has thought about for two years. That's why the book is like an encyclopedia or reference. They get it, they read it, oh okay the jinn, the energy, this color, all of that inshaAllah in those, in those uh, writings. What we got? Nothing. <laughs> interactive Thursday <laughs> and there's no interactive inshaAllah. Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifun wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.